Hello everyone, um, I'm back again with yet another unorthodox video. This is actually going to be my first face cam video. Um, well, it's your boy Firme Waps, and I'm here to introduce to you guys a little something something, some information that I found. And it's pretty much the proven existence of someone you guys should pretty much be familiarized with already, and it's fucking Giga Chad, bro. So in case you guys don't know what his actual name is, his name... Giga Chad is actually known as Ernest Kalimov and he is a fitness model who works for a agency I believe it's a Russian agency called Seek and Tears because he also explicitly states it in his Instagram because you guys don't know what it is it's Berlin.1969 follow this guy you must follow this guy he's such a down-to-earth person or yeah he's a he's, he's definitely a fucking person man like let me just show you one of his images um his messages actually through the text he shows in this post right here it kind of blew up also um he is actually aware of all the memes and everything he even said he even says it in his bio but here he says yes i heard that i don't exist it suits me the art project sounds great thanks so this is him basically pointing out that people speculate that he's an art project and like after this post dude this post right here is what made me be like, whoa, whoa, okay, this dude has to be fucking real. There's no way. Everyone's speculating that he's like a, uh, like an art piece or like a, a 3D rendered AI person for like modeling and everything. Because like, how the fuck do you generate this? Let me just zoom in. Let me just zoom in on this, dude. How do you make this specimen? Literally, like, look at that. This dude is huge, man. Like, in his bio, it says that he's, like, 6'11", dude. This one says that he's 6'11". He's, like, 6'11", weighs roughly 75 kilograms. I do not know kilograms. I'm American. I know pounds. Um, and then his other one says that he's 6'8". I'm, I'm just going to play it safe because I'm kind of, like, fanboying over this guy. I'm pretty sure this dude's, like, fucking 6'11", man. Because you could also see over here in his other posts, he's, like, standing next to, like, these posts. And you can see, like, this, like, kind of, like, gives me the Russian Moscow vibes and everything. Uh, yeah, this dude is a literal fucking tower, dude. Like, there's another poster. He's just standing right here. Look at that. A literal tower. And I know, um, I almost into, like, bodybuilding and shit. And I, and I, like, I like looking at people's physiques and everything. And his legs don't look like tree stumps. When their legs look like tree stumps, really compressed and shit, you could tell they're, like, they're roughly, like, even sometimes it could even be below a little bit, like, six feet below that. This guy's legs are literal teardrop. Like, if you guys don't know who David Lade is, David Lade's legs are like this, and that guy is like 6'3". This dude is shredded to the fucking bone, and look how tall, he's almost hitting that fucking light. So safe to say, he is probably like 6'11". There's no way. And in case you guys are like, like, well, no, you're fucking tripping, you know? Like, this dude, there's no way he's like, there's, a, there's been like a few AIs and everything that have been created on social media that kind of replicate like they're they're trying to impersonate the fact that they're real people one of them that i know of like i've been seeing a lot of ads like if you guys follow world star and shit super fucking annoying in my opinion uh this dude's Knox frost like this, people were like just were like whoa what the fuck it looks like literal like from gta on rtx fucking 3080 graphics but no nah, it's already been proven already that these these dudes the um these type of people they're called they're called something influencers they're the cgi influencers there we go they're called cgi influencers and people make these like rendered artificial intelligence people to get a bunch of clout and everything you know and it, it works judged by how much followers he has on instagram but okay this guy you could tell like you could look at his face and shit and you can see like oh he looks fucking rendered you know but how do you render this guy dude Look at the, the very detail here, dude. Like, you, you don't render that shit. You just don't. And after this post, bro, after this fucking post, you can literally see all of his muscle fibers. You can see the vascularity. I mean, look at the fucking vascularity, dude, of his calves, of his quadriceps, dude. You just don't do that. Like, up here, man, like, I guess it's a little sketchy. Like, bro, how does his hair that fucking perfect? Like, look at that. His hair is just so perfectly in place. No frizz at all. Like, I mean, sure, like, I do believe it could be a little Photoshop, like, his waist here, uh, this photo right here, like, his waist, there's no fucking way, like, there's, like, almost no body fat on this guy, his, there's another post where his abs are, like, just, it's like he has, like, mini abs on his abs, dude, like, what the fuck, like, like, dude, how, 
How are you 6'11 and have this little body fat? That is like, I'm just, and it makes me almost believe that this guy is fake. I, I'm, I'm just starting to believe that this is real, 100%. Like, there's no fucking way he's not real. Like, after this post, dude, but I don't know, man. His genetics are just, if, if it's even genetics, like, sure, there's Photoshop, but there's only so much Photoshop could do, man. You Photoshop can't fucking make a regular slim guy look like this fucking anime rendered looking ass dude. You can't, dude. You just can't do it. Like, people people know that this girl, her name is Krista. She is the photographer. You see, she is the creator and artist of Sleek and Tears, which is a little model agency. Uh, she, she always, like, takes pictures and everything. But she, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure she found this dude legitly, dude. Like, she did not create GigaChat. I think GigaChat is, Ernest Kamalov is, like, already real. Like, her husband, I don't know, like, probably her boyfriend or anything. Look at this guy. He's already, he's also, he's fucking shredded, too. Look at him. This dude has to be like maybe like nine percent body fat. But I mean, this guy is fucking. He's he's literally. He could get a pro card, IFBB pro card, right away if he wanted to too. Like I don't know. She has like a knack for finding people with really good fucking genetics and everything. Like she she has good genetics herself too. Like bro, look at this post, man. Like dude, look at that shit, bro. Whoa. But dude, I am positive. There's no fucking way that this guy is not real now. Like there's no way. There really is just no way. You can't render these, the vascularity and the muscle fibers and his quads and shit. You can't do that. There's no fucking way. I haven't seen anything like it. This is like the best AI could get for you to render some shit like that. It looks hyper realistic, but look at their face. Like you could just tell right off the bat. This guy, you can't, dude. I mean, look at these, dude. You can see all the like the little creases and stuff with this fucking alpha male, dude. Wow, and there's also these little videos and shit on Instagram too. You can see them, like it's like a little, kind of like a little gif. This, I, I'm starting to, I think it's Photoshop too, because you can see that like it twitches, it twitches through her hair and shit. But I mean, there's no, no, like it's pretty obvious they're going to use Photoshop. Like a lot of this shit's Photoshopped. Like a lot of art, like a lot of models and shit. It's super common for you to use Photoshop. But like, again, I'm going to go back to my argument. You can't render that shit. You can't make that up, dude. Like, there's no fucking way. I, I don't know. I, I don't believe like there's no way you could render this man. Like no fucking way, dude. But yeah, I, I'm just, I really want you guys to know this, dude. Like this guy is fucking real, man. Like th there's no way he's not real. Like you can't. Like, let me just read you guys this like uh, he's such he's such a likable person too bro like hello i am grateful for your good comments and messages but you better tell me an interesting scientific or historical fact don't use slang if i have failed to achieve a decent result of the next shooting or i will resurrect of a car accident oh there was a car accident speculation that he like died in a car accident he didn't die um when i come a real person like people keep saying that he's like fake like you're not real this and that my little artist will fix this situation sleek and tears um but yeah and he's like very aware of the giga chat army that's going on right now dude but i just want to let you guys know i'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video uh please feel free to like and subscribe as it helped me out a lot very low effort i really appreciate the support and all but yeah if you guys don't follow this guy please feel free to follow this i could be wrong in the future maybe he actually was rendered but it's safe to say that there's no fucking way that this guy is not real there's no way. I cannot stress that out enough, dude. Like, wow. His his biography and stuff is still a little... It's a little weird. Like, some people say he's, like, 30 years old and everything. But a lot of this shit is... It's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's made up. I'm pretty sure it's made up. Like, this guy looks probably around his 35s or everything, dude. Do I believe he's natty? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. No, there's no fucking way he's natty, dude. But, I mean, to even look like this... If you have this, like facial structure there's only so much filler you could do to your face dude like filler you can inject filler and shit on your chin and everything but dude like this shit doesn't lie man like i don't know how the fuck you could look that good like if you're able to look this fucking good and be that tall i'm pretty sure this dude hit like some fucking star boy genetics dude that's 0 0.0001 percent fucking genetic lottery dude no way call me delusional dude but this like, wow this is crazy dude but yeah i'm a I'm going to conclude the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for participating in this little rant that I wanted to bring out to you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, etc., etc. I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. Um, thank you guys for watching. And I'll
be making another video on why I think this dude, if he's actually fucking real, I'm I'm sure he's real. I fucking repeated myself like a thousand times already, but why this dude could literally be fucking Mr. Olympia, Mr. Universe consecutively. He already has a better physique than like most of the Olympians, dude. But I'm gonna discuss that in the next video. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.